sixth grade, module three, lesson one, classwork, exploratory challenge, constructing the number line. So here we're going to be looking at positive and negative numbers on the number line. So what we have done in the past is we've had number lines, but we've pretty much always started them at zero and then got one, two, three, four, five. And we always know that it goes on an infinite amount to the right whether we write down the numbers or not. But what we haven't really explored is what's going on to the left. So let's look at a number line. And instead of putting zero all the way to the right, I'm going to put zero in the middle. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We can continue to six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we know what comes from the right, but what about the left? So if we want to go to the left, we would have our negative numbers. So this would be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So there is a number line that is going from negatives to positives in both directions. Exercises. Complete the diagrams. Count by ones to label the number line. Okay, so again, I'm going to start by, instead of putting 0 over here, like I normally would in 5th grade, I'm going to put 0 in the middle. And I'll start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then to the left, we're going to have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. But it continues because this arrow means that it continues to negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, until negative infinite numbers, along with positive over on the right here. So let's do it for this uh, vertical line too. So we have 0, and then up is going to be positive numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and down will be negative. Negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. So plot your point on both number lines. So I believe if you were doing this in class, um, your teacher might have passed out cards and you got a different number. Everyone got a different number. But I'm going to pretend I'm in class and I got negative 3. I'm going to pretend that my card said negative 3. So I plotted neg I'm going to plot negative 3 on both number lines. So there's my negative 3. And... Then it says, number two, show and explain how to find the opposite of your number on both number lines. So the opposite of negative three would be if we were to go to zero, we moved one, two, three. So then if I moved up one, two, three, again, the opposite of my number would be three. So again, if I started in negative three and went to zero, then I'd have to do the same distance to get to three. So it says, so we showed it, now let's explain it. So let's say we plotted negative three. And let's say that I found my point by starting at zero and counting three units to the left because we had negative three to end on negative three. To find the opposite number, I started on zero and counted three units to the right to end on three. 
So mark the op number three says mark the opposite on both number lines. We already did that. We marked negative three and negative, th or we marked three and three. Uh, number four, choose a group representative to place the opposite number on your class number line. That would be something we would only do if we were doing it in class. And same with number five, which group had the opposite of the number on your index card. So maybe if you were in class and you had number three, you'd be looking for someone who had negative three. If you had five, you'd be looking for someone with negative five. If you had negative four, you'd be looking for someone with four.